Quickly, 20, question 21 says Chuku Abdul and Kunle have to share 142 naira such that um, Abdul gets um, 11 naira less than Chuku and 7 naira more than Kunle. How much is Chuku share? Now, the first thing you need to do in this question is um, establish what we call a reference point. So, um, now notice Abdul has a relationship with Chuku and Kunle. So, I'm going to say Abdul be X. Abdul be X. So then for Chuku, he says, um, Abdul gets 11 naira less than Chuku. That means um, Abdul's money is actually, Abdul gets 11 naira less than Chuku, which shows that Abdul's, Chuku's money is actually greater than Abdul's money. So Chuku is going to be X plus 11. Then um, Kunle, Kunle will now be, he says, Abdul gets seven naira more than kunle so that means abdul's money is actually greater than kunle's own with seven naira so abdul is going to be a uh, kunle is going to be x minus seven so the first thing we're going to do is sum up everything and um, equate it to the total so we can get our x so this is going to be x plus x plus 11 plus x minus 7 is equal to 142 now this is going to be x plus x plus x is going to give us 3x plus 11 minus 7 is going to give us um, 4 is equal to 142. Now collecting like times 3x is going to be 142 minus 4. Now this is going to be 3x is going to be 142 minus 4 is going to give us um, 138. Therefore our x, our x is going to be 138 divided by 3 which is going to give us 3 into 13, it's going to give us um, 4 remainder 1, 3 into 18, it's going to give us um, 6. So this is going to be 46 Naira. That's actually Abdul's money. Now, the question says, how much is Chuku's money? So Chuku is going to be X plus 11, that's 46 plus 11, and that's going to give us um, 57 Naira. And that's what the question asked us. So the correct answer is A. But to just go further, um, for Kunle, Kunle is going to be um, 46 minus 7, which is going to give us um, 39 Naira. Now, to be sure that you're correct in this question, all you need to do is sum up everybody's money, which is going to be 46 plus um, 57 plus um, 39. You're supposed to get back the 142. So 6 plus 7 is going to give us 13 plus 9, 22, carry 2. 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11, 11 plus 3 is going to give us 14. So our answers are correct. Okay, so um, that will take us to the next question. It says find the missing number in this question. Now, it means um, we have um, 1010101 zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, base 2 minus, let's call it um, x is equal to 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, base 2. Now, this means collect like terms, bring this one over to this side and take the minus x to this side. This is going to be 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, minus base 2, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, base 2 is equal to x. So, we're going to subtract this 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Um, this is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, then 1, 1. We're subtracting this. This is base 2. This is base 2. Okay? So um, 1 minus 0 is going to give us 0. 1 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 0. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's an error here. Okay? Let's start again. So um, 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. Uh, now, this is where the issue lies. Now, 0 can't minus 1. And here, 0 can't minus 1. So you borrow 1 here. Here becomes 0. You put it here. Once you put it here, now, notice this is binary. So once you put it here, it becomes 2. So you now have two here so you still borrow here and it will now become one you now put it here instead of having you now put it here 
but it will now become 2 also. So 2 minus 1 here is going to be 1, and 1 minus 1 here is now going to be 0. So our final answer, it's um, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, base 2. So um, our final answer, it's um, D. D is the correct answer. So you just need to understand when you're doing, uh, what you need to carry over. When you carry over in decimal, you normally have 10. But in binary, when you carry over and have a 10, you don't call it 10, you call it 2. So that you can now do um, your subtraction. Okay? So um, going over to the next question, that would be um, question 23. It says, convert this binary to denary. Remember, denary is decimal. Denary, decimal. So this is going to be 1101010. Okay. So um so this is in base 2. So now you, you remember just you're going to call here 0. This is going to be 1 2 3 4 5 and 6. This is for easy emphasis. So we're going to say 1 times the base or raised to power 6 plus 1 times base 2 or raised to power 5 plus 0 times um, base 2 or raised to power 4 plus 1 times b 2 raised to power b and 3 plus 0 times 2 raised to power 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 1 plus 0 times 2 raised to power 0. Now, this is going to be 1 times 2 raised to power 6 is going to be, um, this would be 2 raised to power 6 plus, this is going to be 2 raised to power 5 plus, 0 times anything is 0 plus, this would be 2 raised to power 3 plus, 0 times anything is 0 plus, 2 raised to power 1 would be then plus, 0 times 2 raised to power 0 would be 0 plus 0. Okay, so 2 raised to power 6 is um, 64. 2 raised to power 5 is 32 plus um, 2 raised to power 3 is going to be um, 8 plus 2 raised to power 1 is going to be 2. So 64 plus 32, 4 plus 2 is going to give us 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, that's um, 96 plus um, 8 plus 2 is 10. So 96 plus 10 is going to give us um, 106. So our final answer is 106. So this is the correct answer and it's B. Okay, so um, the next question is um, question 24. It says, um, if it costs 17500 to lodge in an hotel for seven days, what is the cost of lodging for three days in the same hotel? Now, solution. So, um, for seven days, it will cost 17500 All you need to do is get for one day. One day is going to be 17,500 divided by 7. Now, 7 into, um, seven into 17, it's um, 2 whole number remainder and 3. So 7 into 35 is going to give us um, 5. So we'll now have our 0 and our 0. So that means one day is going to cost 2,500 Naira. Therefore, if one day it's going to be 2,500 Naira. Therefore, three days is going to be three times 2,500 Naira. And three times 2,500 is going to be 7,500. So that's the final answer. So our correct answer here is C. Okay? So the next question, um, next question is um, 25. It says, which of the following angles cannot be constructed using a ruler and a compass? Now, you can construct 90 degree, that's correct. You can construct um, 60 degree, that's correct. When you bisect 60 degree, you get 30 degree, that's correct. Uh, when you bisect 90, you get 45 degree, which is correct. When you bisect 30, you can get um, 15 degree. When you bisect 45, you can get um, 22.5 degree. When you bisect 30, you can get 15 degree. Okay, so the only odd one here is 70 degree. 
you cannot construct 70 degree. So um, that's the final answer. So 26 says, uh, find the value of x in the figure below. Now, this is your right angle triangle. So the first thing that should come into your head is the hypotenuse, um, the Pythagoras rule, which states that the hypotenuse square is equal to adjacent square plus opposite square. So which means our hypotenuse here is 20. 20 square is equal to 16 square plus x square. Now 20 square is going to give us um, 400. Um, then 16 square is going to give us, um, so you need to multiply that. That's um, 16 times 16. 6 times 6 is 36. Um, carry 3. 6 times 1 is 6. That's 96. Then 16. So this is 6. 9 plus 6 is um, 5. Carry 1. That's 256. So this is um, 256 plus um, x squared. Therefore, collecting like terms is going to be 400 minus 256 equal to x squared. Okay, so now to subtract this, now let me teach you something in math trick. Now, to subtract this, I'm going to say, I'm going to subtract 1 from both of them, which is going to be 400, I want to do 400 minus 256. So I'm going to say, this is going to be, I'll subtract 1 from here. Sorry. I'm going to subtract 1 from both of them. Okay, so this will be um, minus 1, minus 1. This is going to give me um, 399 minus 255. Five. I don't want to carry over. So 9 minus 5 is going to give me um, 4. 9 minus 5 is going to give me 4. 3 minus 2 is going to give me 1. So as easy as that. I don't want to be carrying over doing multiple calculations. So you can apply that if you really like or you can go the longer route. So this is 144 is equal to x squared. Therefore, x is going to be square root of 144 and you know your perfect squares which is um, 12 so our final answer here is going to be 12 meters and the correct answer it's b okay so 27 says um, if the bearing of a from b is 135 degree what's the bearing of b from a before you can solve this question you need to draw the diagram now it says the bearing of a from b so because it says from b you need to draw b first so this is our B. So now it says it's 90 is 135 degree. So remember, this is 90. 135 is going to be in between 90 and 180. So you draw. So this is going to be your A. This is point A. Now notice from here to here is 90. Now and they say the total angle is 135. So that means here is going to be 45 degree. Now, when you remember your alternate angles, when you have something like this, um, when you have alternate angles, so you have an angle like this. This is a straight line. This line is parallel to this line. So it means this angle, x, is alternate to y so that means x is equal to y reason is alternate angles a l this is a l alternate alternate angles so now that means here automatically it's going to be 45 degree so that's the first thing you need to note then from here to here it's 90 from here to here is another 90 from here to here is another 90 that means the bearing of a from B, it's going to be 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 45. We're trying to get the location of A from B. So this is going to be 180 plus um, 1. Uh, okay, sorry, this is not 180. This is 270 plus 45. And that's going to give us 0 plus 5 is 5. 7 plus 4 is going to be 1. Carry 1, that's 3. 315 degree. So our final answer is 315 degree. So D is the correct answer. Okay, so question um, 28. The sum angles of a straight line, now this is a straight line, the sum angle is 180 degree. So this is the angle, sum 80. Then you know that at a point, this is a circle. The sum angle of a circle is 360 degree. So our final answer here is C.
So you also need to know for a triangle, some angle is um, some angle of a total angle is 180. Some angle of a quadrilateral it's um, it's um, 360. Then some angle of a straight line it's 180. Okay, is there any other one I've not said? Okay, then um, question um, 29. Each face of a cube is a shape of what? Now let's draw our cube. This is what a cube looks like. This is what a cube looks like. Now a cube is, is just like your sugar. So each face of a cube, it's a square. So the correct answer is D. So D is our correct answer. Now question um, 30 says, um, the perimeter of a square is 16 cm. Now let's draw our square. Now you know what perimeter means. And you know one thing about a square is all the sides are equal. So that means the perimeter says x plus x plus x plus x is 16 cm. Now, it says find the area. So this means, let's find the side. x plus x plus x plus x will give us 4x is equal to 16. Therefore, x will be 16 over 4, which is 4 cm. Now we now know that our side is 4 cm. Our area is going to be length times width for a square, which is going to be length times length because they are all equal. So this is 4 times 4, and that's what, 16 um, the perimeter of a square, find the area of a square. So that means it's going to be um, 16 cm squared. Okay, probably find the area of the square. I don't know why um, the options are like this, but the answer is actually 16 cm squared. So I think there is a problem with the question. 